guys, welcome back to my channel. Happy Tuesday. Today I thought we'd do something different. We do a little bit of a mukbang situation. I'm not a mukbang connoisseur. I, I don't know if we're doing this right. If but we do this wrong, please don't judge us. I don't know what I'm doing either. This shouldn't even be called mukbang. This is like eating. What does mukbang mean, technically? We are going to take one shot before we start, and then we are going to be sipping on our wine the whole time. We're eating so sushi. So pretty much just blacking out. <laughs> Here, to our mukbang. Mukbang. <laughs> so we um, picked up sushi from Kiwami, which is personally one of my favorite sushi spots in LA. It's in Studio City, and it's run by Katsuya, but it's just like a kind of branch of Katsuya. I eat fish. I'm pescatarian. She doesn't, so she got non-fish items, and I got... <laughs> All the fish stuff. <laughs> I have a veggie roll. These are some of the best dishes that come with a good sauce that kind of like drown out the taste of fish because I'm not a big like fishy taste person. It has to be like nice mm -hmm. stuff with good sauce. This is yellow jalapeno. We have a crispy rice spicy tuna, crispy sesame tuna. It's like tuna tartare with avocado and fish egg cut up onto like a little wonton chip with wasabi mayo. My personal favorite uh, albacore crispy onion. What's that? This one. Shrimp and pork roll. Also, never forget eel sauce and spicy mayo. I can't eat any sushi without it. Yeah. And ponzu. I do teriyaki sauce and spicy yeah. mayo. How did you and George meet and and like fall into being something? Oh, such a good question. Okay. It is right because I feel like that's like the biggest point of a new relationship is like yeah. how was the like falling in love phase. I am friends with Kaylin. Maybe. My best friend Michelle. Okay. Her sister Cassie went on The Bachelor. She yes, came back. I saw them. Cool. Yes. The whole day. Okay. So Kaylin was on the show. Yeah. They came back as best friends. We all became very good friends. Kaylin met Mark. Oh, Kaylin from the show. Yeah. She met Mark at Stagecoach, and they became friends. And then we would all hang out. And Mark is George's best friend. And then we just like organically met. Actually, how George and I met is Kaylin and I were meeting up Mark at um, Takaya to get food. And George was at Takaya. So he was sitting at Takaya. We walked in and met. We like sat down to eat. And George was like really, really nervous that day. And he just didn't like speak to me at all. He was like, like, he was, like nervous because you were so hot. I don't know. I love it. He was so nervous. He couldn't talk to me. So I was like, okay, whatever. But he was like, he was sweet and whatever. And his friends were really nice. And then from then on, like when we hung out with them and the next time it was like a big group of us. Then George was actually himself, like everybody else knows. And was like super big personality, making jokes left and right. I was like, oh, this guy's so fun. Yeah, when he's comfortable, he's comfortable. Kaylin and I were like, oh, we love George, he's so fun. So we'd always hit him up to like hang out. I genuinely I just love wanted that. to he hang out with George. like love being around. Yeah, love he was that. just like good vibes and so much fun. I truly like did not want a relationship. That was the last thing I wanted at that time. you weren't looking for that. No. Wow. Like I, I was like, I don't want to date at all. I remember he drove all the way down to Malibu. The girls and I were in Malibu. He came to hang out with us and he was like being so flirty. He was like playing with my belt. Really? Yeah. <laughs> it was so cute. It was, was like, like first stages of butterflies. Yeah, it was, it was like so cute. He kept on like flirting with me and like mm. whatever. And I was like, okay, George. Um, okay, George. We'd all. <laughs> We all hung out like as a big group of friends like Mark like all of us and then George begged me to go on a date and I said no to him a few times and then he convinced me to go on a date with him and I said it's not a date you we're just going no? to dinner mm -hmm. Like did you like feel something though? Were you like attracted to him? I thought he was really cute and he was really fun. I loved his You're personality. Left -handed, too. You're left-handed? You're left-handed? Oh, that's so cute. He convinced me to go on a date what with him. And I said, fine, but it's not a date. And he was so cute about it. He was like, okay, well, just, he's like, I just want to take you out to dinner and like wear a dress. I just want to make you laugh. And then like, whatever. I was like, okay. Oh, yeah, you yeah. told me. You texted me. He was like, bring your, bring your dress for dinner and like sweatpants for later. Yes! Yeah, because we were going to go to a mini golf or a movie or something like that. And we went to um, so Astros. He like picked me up in his nice car, was waiting outside the car for me. I walked up in my heels and dress. I was like, oh, he was waiting outside of the car for you when. Yeah. Yeah, oh he was like God. leaning on it, all cute, and I like walked up, and I was like, oh, this is such a date. Carl's Jr. <gasps> <gasps> he scared the sh- What do they? He scared the sh- out of me. Hi, everybody. <laughs> hey, hey um, really quickly, um, on a scale of 1 to 10, how tipsy are you? Dr. Lai, I'm pretty tipsy. Like, I took a really what? big shot. I took my full shot. I'm gonna drink up a little bit, because I'm like damn near sober. On a scale of 1 to 10? 2 and a half. 3 mm -hmm. if I'm lucky. Oh, okay, yeah. I'm not like 
I'm not no, I'm not drunk. I'm like a four. Oh yes, yeah, so he was waiting outside the car for me. Walked up and was like, Oh, I was gonna say, like, imagine from a boy's perspective, like we think like we're getting ready, me on cue, blah blah blah. But this guy's like, George literally sat there and was like, the right thing to do here is to get out of my car and go around and sit there and wait and lean on it. Like that's like the boy's thought process. Isn't that so cute? Imagine you got out of the car and we're like waiting there, like, sup, babe? What's good? Well, you couldn't come right. get me at the door. Cause I was at my friend Michelle's apartment and he's like a locked apartment building. He smells so good. So, so you smell so good. That's the number one thing. Pheromones. If you don't like the way your partner smells at all times, even if they're stinky, sweaty, haven't showered for four days, or freshly out of the shower and your neck, the way they're scent, naturally their natural odor, you gotta go. This is true. If yeah, if you don't like your partner smell. I don't know how you're with them. Maybe it's a personal thing. Like if I don't I have to like connect Me too. like I will literally <laughs> could sniff Logan's neck. For hours and hours. George, like, straight out of a workout, was all sweaty. Yeah. He smells great. It's so weird that we like that. Mm -hmm. I'm the same way. He never smells bad, like, ever. Logan stinks sometimes, but I like it. <laughs> Even his gas, I, like, don't hate. Like, he'll, like, fart all the time, and I'll be like, it's all right, what's next? <laughs> yeah, I kind of like it. What's that movie from? She rolls up the window, she's like, I love it. The <laughs> bow. Yes. Oh, she's so pretty with me. I'll open the window and be like, I love you. <laughs> That's cute. To wrap this segment up, yeah, we went to dinner, and I think like what was so cute about like, and if you know George, like he's just so confident, and he was super nervous with me, and I think that gave me such confidence because mm -hmm. when we were at dinner, he told me he's like, listen, like I'm never nervous with anybody, but I'm super nervous with you, and I just thought that was really cute. Mm -hmm. we, I so flattering. Cried laughing like the whole dinner. I had the best time. He convinced me to go on a second date with him because I <laughs> after I was like, but I want to be friends. Like I don't want to be in a relationship. You did that? Uh huh. After the first date, but it was great. No way. I'm stupid, so. But uh, mm -hmm. he convinced me to go to a second date with him, and it was so much fun. And then we actually secretly we were like hooking up, and we were keeping it from everybody around us. We would hang out with like Mark, Kaylin, like Olga, like everybody around us, but we wouldn't tell them that we were like hooking up. Is this is this the tell all? Like you're spilling the tea now? We lied. We were talking the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> we lied. No, they know now. <laughs> but it was so fun, you know, like sneaking around. Yeah, and then we yeah. dated. <laughs> Now we're like married. We have a kid. How long you have a thing? How did he ask you to be exclusive? The first time he asked me to be his girlfriend, I cried and said no. <laughs> I wasn't ready! Oh, no, that's okay though. That's like more than okay. See, like now that I'm in a relationship, I'm such a wife, so you would ever expect, but when I'm single, I'm very like, I don't know, I'm very, like I don't get close to people. In order yeah. to fall in love, you have to let yourself be in that place no. to fall in love. She dropped it into sobs. This is awful news. <laughs> so you've cried the first time you said? Yeah, I, I started because I really liked him and I didn't want him to think that like, I didn't like him. I was like, I'm not ready to be like boyfriend girlfriend. It was really soon. How do you ask? Was he like be my girlfriend? We were on his bed at his old apartment and he was like, Do you want to like be my girlfriend? I started bawling. We like went to the bathroom, sitting on the floor, but he's like, You're so cute when you cry. It's okay. Like I promise you, it's oh okay. Oh my god, just you had more time. Moment, so we would stay up all night talking and like adventuring and having the best time ever. And then he asked me back out. It was like such a short time, like two weeks later. So and then said I said no yes. and said, give me like a few weeks. I was, like, just, I was like, I just need a little bit more time to be serious. Mm -hmm. He asked me again, like two weeks later, underneath the blanket. I don't have a picture of us underneath the blanket. And I said yes. Mm -hmm. That's so romantic. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. You're like, what, a year now? At least. A year and like almost two months. We have a kid yeah. now, we have a, where is he? He's sleeping. I put him on the couch. Tommy. He was on the cold hard floor. I was like, at least get some cushion. God. They have a new puppy. Uh, it's flawless. Logan does a million, like a million things per day. It was inspiring, truly, because I've never met anyone who works harder than, who, than he does. Like genuinely, like someone who is so driven and so ambitious. And it inspired me in so many ways. I work hard, like I definitely work hard, but I'm way more like in the moment, like live life. Like, so now that we've like come to one, we have like brought in kind of the the best parts of each other and turned it into like one person where we like work hard work our asses off stay busy but we definitely have those days where we know how to like completely chill do nothing like yeah. no i think you guys are such a good balance for each other like i truly think that what i even explained to him i was like what i've learned is that you know there's a yin and a yang not evil and good but in a sense of like there's two different types of people who bring out uh, the balances that one another needs. Like he brings out what I need in him and I bring out what he needs in me mm -hmm. and like I feel like both of our boyfriends are always, we're always around people. Mm -hmm. I am never not around a group of people. I mean also because we live in a house full of people but we're always, you know, filming with people mm -hmm. and having friends over. People are stopping by. I, 
all times of the day, guys. Like, I really do. I'm always around people. I don't have that much alone time with George. So when we do like get to put like specific time aside just to be together, there's like I cherish them so much because they're so important, you know. And okay. you guys are like same thing. Always people over at the house. Always people around. Yeah, and I feel like having that completely secluded alone time where you're just like your most vulnerable self with someone else is the best part about it. And when you get to like have that person to yourself, mm -hmm. that's the beauty of like your love. Yeah. Where are you, you're from France. So are those the friends you still keep in touch with? I'm from France, but I left when I was 10. I know some of those people, like I have them on Instagram and mm -hmm. stuff like that, but we don't talk. Yeah. It's been so long. And then those other people are from Canada. The rest are from Huntington. Oh, okay. And they're out here. That's close. And that's like where I want to have my family, I think is in Huntington. I know your mom was out here. Yeah, my mom and sister. How often do you see her? I haven't seen her actually in a whole month for a while. I think she has been missing me a lot. I feel like it's a really tough age to completely prioritize family. Mm -hmm. Like in your 20s, when you finally have your freedom, your financial stability, hopefully, and uh, the ambition to like just chase things, it's hard to maintain family relationships as close as you want. I love my mom and my sister more than anything in the world. It is difficult, like, they want to talk on the phone every single day. And as much as I, I want to talk on the phone every single never. day, it's a hard thing to juggle. Your mom is gonna want to see you and like keep you at home for the longest as you can. I just, I definitely get how it's like hard to maintain the relationship as closely as you want. You know, family's family. You only have mm -hmm. one family. <laughs> if they cherish your family and put time aside for them and nurture them just as much as you would like a friendship or a relationship almost. I love you, mom. <laughs> I love you. People are like, what is this fun bag? I thought you were spilling tea. I know, but you know, but this is what happens. Girls like get some crying. wine. Girls get some wine and we all get emotional and talk about some deep <laughs> What's the story of when Logan told you he loved you for the first time? Oh. Her, George, and Justin, I believe, uh -huh. came over around 1 a.m. to, they wanted to get some kind of thumbnail for something, or yes. some kind of work at the house, yes. whatever. And they saw Broly inside of the house laying on the ground, and they were about to leave, but he, but George was like, oh, let me go make sure, let me go check. Yeah, so, we were like, I was like, George, was this is not right, because you think he's okay? I'm like, no. And I remember checking his face, and there was like, wet coming from his mouth, yeah. and I was like, we have to do something. And he calls Logan, and we're in bed, we're like, literally asleep, like, falling asleep within seconds. He calls Logan, which he's like, yo, you're not, I'm like, you ain't doing good. We see that Broly's like, really not doing well, uh, rush him to the vet, and me and Logan are just sitting there probably until, this happened at one, maybe until four. They had him do blood work, and then the blood work came back fine, but they were like, oh, even though the blood work's fine, you still might need an x-ray of like, some kind of control congestion within his system and we were like okay fine mm -hmm. do it get it done and then I was just there with him until 4 a.m. and we just had a cute night we got Jack in the box whatever Logan had made jokes about it prior being like I you he'd be like I so I knew deep down inside that uh he was starting to definitely have those feelings for me and definitely starting to fall in love with me and I knew I loved him like I I think I definitely loved Logan before he loved me and so we were driving home with Broly, but he was like, you won't, you won't say it, or something like that. And I was like, I looked at him and I was like, I love you. <laughs> the first time he ever said he loved me was at the ranch, maybe a week later, a few days later. Uh -huh. We were up at the ranch and he was like, Joe's. And I was like, what? And he like looked at me in a way where I knew he was about to tell me. And he looked back at me and he was like, I love you. I was like, well, you know, you know. You know? When George told me he loved me, it was like this whole, like it was like a fairy tale, it was like a little movie. And I only know this because we talked about it after multiple times, but George said in his mind that when he was ready to say I love you, he didn't want to quote unquote mess it up the way that he did when he asked me out the first time. How long were you guys together for before he said it? Well, we were official July 17th and then my birthday was on July 31st. That's when he told me he loved me. Two weeks later. Yeah. <laughs> Everything with George and I is very quick. So it was my birthday and that day he like surprised me with like a brunch with my girlfriends and then I had an audition later that day actually and right before my audition he made me open a little gift bag and it was like Mickey Mouse ears he's like what is it? I was like oh really? Because it was like late in the day so it was like the whole thing? Yeah so I had a really important audition I went, he drove me and then from my audition we went to Disneyland probably we got there by like 5 o'clock-ish so it was pretty late in the day but it was nice to like end my birthday like at Disneyland and we did both parks and at five o'clock yeah we like did a ride at disney and then we got dinner we somehow like just by luck had the perfect table 
wherever we ate that we like got to look up and watch the fireworks while we ate oh. and it was just like so perfect there's disneyland and then there's a uh, california adventure park mm -hmm. and they're right next to each other and so if you buy the tickets for both you can bounce back and forth park like hopper. all day so we like had eaten dinner and i guess in his mind he was like oh should i do it now i was like no no we're eating we're watching fireworks so after dinner we went to the next park and George somehow finessed his way to getting us like this really good seat. We were like right by like the water. We we're like standing there. We we're watching the show and he was holding me from behind. So it's like in front of him. He's like holding me from behind, whatever. And he was like super, super nervous. So he like turned me around the first time. But I think he like got nervous and psyched out and he just like kissed me and was like, hi. And then like turned me back around and I was like, okay. <gasps> so we kept on watching it. It was so romantic. The lights and the water and the music. And then a whole new world came on. He turned me around and he was like, feel how fast my heart's beating. So I like felt his heart. And he was like, looked at me and he like stopped and he was like, because I assumed he was like, he's like, I love you. And I like started crying. I was like, I love you too. And we like kissed and it was like water and colors and music and it was so special. <laughs> Bravo, George. My ex, like ex that I thought I was probably gonna spend my life with, was four years. So yeah, my ex was three and a half, four years. Yeah, so. yeah. Wow. Because I know you were in another four-year relationship, also. And you just like pee pee. Mm -hmm. like you. How was that for you, being so young and going to a four-year relationship? It was hard. It was. I mean, it was good and it was fun, but it was just like a lot. Like I think I was 16, mm -hmm. and then we met. 16? How old was he? Up? Oh, how old was he? 16 too. He was in my grade. We met junior year, and it what taught years? me so much. Yeah, I was so young as a baby, so we like grew up together. We had a really fun, like crazy relationship. You were young, as you should. Yeah, the yeah. adventures and stuff. But I think like growing up, I think for a while we were growing like this and then we kind of started growing like this. But yeah, I think it's just hard when you like, when you're young and then Realistically, you when you're that young and you have so much growing up to do, it's bound to have its, its moment of, of split. How was your four-year relationship? It was good. It was, it was passionate. It was very like immediate, like fell in love. Like mm -hmm. it was kind of like that like obsessive, passionate, uh, love like your first love where you're just like nothing matters but this person and but yeah. this love because of that at times it was like very hectic and we argued a lot mm -hmm. and he was a musician so he was always on tour traveling and it was great it was very adventurous very exciting i traveled the world with him because he was like a touring musician and we went everywhere together we did everything together and we were like connected at the hip he was my best friend i dated the boy version of myself so we would butt heads a lot so neither of us knew what communication meant. N neither of us knew what true love and how what it t took to like maintain that. Ugh, we were like on and off a little bit. Like it was a kind of relationship where like something stupid and little would happen. We'd be like, we're done, we're off, we're done, blah blah. Oh, and then, then we yeah. get back together a couple of days later. It was so toxic. We just grew Never. apart. Yeah. We definitely grew apart. Naturally, when so many things go wrong, you just lose that that passion, that love that you had initially. But I'm so grateful for how much it taught me because I definitely wouldn't be the woman I am today to Logan if I hadn't been through my like relationship, love stuff and like learn. Of course. So I'm so grateful because now I found something that's like actually so promising, like just, like truly just so incredible. Like I'm the happiest I've been in, in so long. Like so well, we all of our food pretty much. That was really well. really good fresh sushi but it was so good i hope that you guys enjoyed this video but yeah thank you so much for doing this with me of course it was love so you fun to have. Love you. Love you. Well, exactly. it includes food and wine and my food, girl wine and I'm talking fully in couldn't say no let us know if you guys like this and we'll do more like little bits of this we're gonna have a josie and shauna, shauna, shauna show what would our show name be shauna Shosie? Sho Shosie or Jonna? Shosie or Jonna. Let us know which one you like more. <laughs> We're gonna do which little episodes <laughs> of us doing things. Yeah. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys on Friday. Mwah.